Hey guys, it's Jilly and welcome back to another video. I am just wanting to cover um, this topic that has been really on my heart for a long time and I believe that this is a topic that if you're watching this, you obviously clicked on the thumbnail and the title and know what it's about. It's about loneliness and probably you're feeling the same as well. So let me know how you feel, what you think. Um, about the truthfulness of this um, it's a, and, and the reality is that it's a really lonely road upwards um, what I mean by this is you know a lot of times as we're entrepreneurs people don't understand us and they really don't understand how exactly lonely we are um, like we are our biggest critics and people don't really like and 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 all around I get a lot of negativity you know when I was starting a YouTube channel and I had to try and find a way to get my videos to be visible um, really I get people on Twitter messaging me saying and, well, apart from unfollowing me, um, they also say, you know, this this girl, like, they didn't say it to me, actually. They said, they said to someone else in the tweet, they said, this girl spams the tags too much. Um, and that's because I was um, kind of spamming it, but not really, because I was adding value um, all the time, as you know we do. Um, I was just, like, using a hundred different ways to message a hundred different people about the video that I just put out in a way that Twitter would allow me to, which is actually tagging the names in the in the Twitter. So if you're wondering how to get visibility and you have no friends in the niche that you are trying to get at, um, like with all due respect, all of the people whom I spam tagged were mainly people who are my followers. So, you know, if you're my followers, what's a list for? Um, as a Grant Cardone would say, it hit the list, you know, like, and, and, um, actually, if I didn't do that, then, uh, you know, what's the point of having a Twitter <laughs> at, in the first place? Um, yeah, so anyway, I wanted to share this with you about overcoming loneliness and how it's a, it's a super, super long journey upwards, but don't give up, um, and we're gonna, give you some um, kind of like ideas on how you can do that yourself because I'll, I'll tell you what works for me and and then hopefully that would you know strike a bell somewhere um, with you and, and and as usual I'm still in affinity at the moment still trying to work on my um, store and I'll just do this because you know obviously I don't want to put on makeup as I was saying in the last episode um, so you know, because it just takes so much time and everything, and, and I'm trying to, like, get this done. <laughs> Basically, you know how we are, we're super time poor. And I, I don't think you mind me either, like, because these pictures are really pretty. Um, let me know. <laughs> um, I really love this, because I, I made this, spent hours making it all today. And finally, I got to the stage where I'm actually able to stop uh, uploading these, or uh, putting it on them. Um, on a template for products. Um, if you're wondering, by the way, in the middle here, um, if you can see, I have all these pink guidelines, and and that's basically um, this this canvas size is four thousand five hundred times five thousand four hundred, which I heard is the um, size for Merch by Amazon. I am not on Merch by Amazon myself, and don't plan to be. I don't like anything Amazon. I kind of feel like uh, it's the the. The, the intentions that Bezos has um, is very anti-Christ to me. So um, I will just put it and leave it there. Like I mean, obviously, everyone can have their own point of view, but that's just my personal one, okay? So um, if you don't like it, hate on it, that's fine. You know, like, it wouldn't be the first time I've had hate on my YouTube channel, um, <laughs> um, which is also the topic of today. Um, aka overcoming loneliness because 
not a lot of people really understand where you're going when you're trying to go upwards honestly like that is the true case for me um my parents <sighs> where do i even start i don't know where can i start um okay let me just tell you about my parents because i'm gonna tell you about all the people who didn't support me and then how i then supported myself and maybe how um how many people did support me um and, and hopefully that that helps you a little bit so if you're the if you're feeling like you're the only one there like the only one ever in your own grind the only one ever like trying to um make things work or alone late night midnight 2 a.m 3 a.m even not sleeping for a whole night until 6 a.m I, I get it you know i get it like i'm like you we're the same um and or, or like if you're a small business owner as i know um i'm irish if you're looking at this um yeah i can relate because i'm doing this myself like you and i see how much um instagram marketing irish is doing um and a shout out to you there um i really love the work that you do irish and and every time seeing you do instagram marketing that really really pushes me along like in, in ways that massively surpasses words um so thank you for being like a a, a pillar of motivation for me and um it, it, for all the viewers out here who don't really know about irish um irish is a friend i met through doing youtube on the other main channel and by the way guys um if you want to check out the channel that i'm talking about here in this video so because this one's a behind the scenes channel um if you want to know um go to my main channel um, got more than more than 1000 subscribers that's why last time in the video i shared with you guys how i could get 1000 subscribers from nothing like i had no friends in in there um yeah okay sure there were a few people who subscribed who knew me personally but as the channel grew that became less and less relevant um and in the previous video i covered how important it is for your viewers to be organic and how to actually cover that so if you haven't um watch that video yet you it might be of interest to you you might be in that stage where you're thinking about doing that i mean and and honestly i want to say like giveaways and stuff like that all those events that you can hold on your channel really make a difference so never underestimate that because as i was saying in the last video that every single business that you do like is a people's business you're not really in the in the business of of, of making a YouTube um, or anything or, or, or selling shoes or like merch by Amazon or something like that like you're not really doing that um, what you're really doing is participating in having people who like your products or whatever you're trying to sell even if yourself you know um, you might be your own product as a lot of youtubers are here and I definitely am you are a business i am a business just like gary v saying you know and sorry grant cardone saying i, I think they all say it honestly i love them um oh why do i have double i think it's slightly different doesn't matter we can do it twice um yeah so i just my parents are traditional christians and they grew up in churches that play the organ and um, I was never allowed to have sleepovers in high school um, because they didn't trust. Like they think that something would happen to me. Um, yeah, if I was at my friend's place. You know, very protective environment and all my life I've tried to escape that because I feel like I wasn't given a chance to grow. Um, and yeah, so I made a lot of mistakes growing up there even though for the most part of it i was just obedient i'm like a very good girl <laughs> like i'm just like you know i'm just a good christian girl as you find the local church um i'm like that so yeah very very but very devout you know i love god I, um when i was um three years old um 
my mom told me about a story um and she said there was this little kid who went to church and it came time for an offering and um basically this kid grew up in a household where they didn't have much money you know and that kid was quite poor so when it was his turn about to like the offering plate was about to pass before him um he quickly ran to the kitchen and quickly picked the biggest platter he could find and when the offering plate came he put he stood on the little platter like the biggest platter he could find really at that time and then he said to god you know god um i don't have any money but i'll give you my all um everything i have um and and I, when I heard that, I said to myself, I'm going to be that kid. Like, I'm going to be, like, I am that kid. And so from then on, I gave my life to God. Um, that's why in the end, I started the Chili Variety channel. Because I wanted it to not only be a place where I can enjoy it and do some entertainment videos and learn YouTube and stuff like that. Um, but I also wanted it to be something that is going to help people see light in a very dark industry such as K-pop um, yeah, in, in pop culture and, and a lot of kids grow up with their identities there you know so um, yeah, so I try to really learn to be entertaining there I'm still um, a gem in polish in progress very much but yeah basically that's how it got started and a lot of times as an entrepreneur i'll be lonely because even now my parents think that what i'm doing is ungodly they always because they hate it like pop music um so they think that when i'm like bobbing my head to like k-pop music or or, or sb19 or something they think that i am sinning <laughs> basically even till today you know not much has changed then um but i don't blame them because they don't understand it and they've never seen real christians be like part of this culture as well but what made a difference for me and i get reminded of that because this particular photo i'm editing right here this one um reminds me of the shafela in israel and it, it that's the plain side of Israel, you know, one part of it is the Udian Mountains and one part of it is the Plains and that reminds me of Ray Vanderland who did a series called That the World May Know so some of you might hear about that if you don't know yet um, really highly encourage you to watch it it really made a difference in my life but yeah, this, he basically said you gotta find a way to influence your culture um, and a lot of times we just let the, the culture be run over by non-Christians and we wonder why our society is getting more and more pagan every day. Well, it's your fault because, well, it's our fault, you know, it's my fault as much as you guys is, but like, it's all of our fault because we just let these key crossroads be taken away by unbelievers and like, I mean, what do you expect? Because in, in, their, in their nature, they are not repented you know like and and this is the lifestyle they know you know maybe in their own eyes they're actually really righteous or good and and honestly some of them with the their righteousness they will put christians to shame okay let me just say that because i've seen a lot more non-christians they're more humane than christians are and and that's something that i'm not proud of you know i'm not proud of that especially you know especially the church you know like i'm not proud of it um the current state that it's in okay like so if, if the church has ever hurt you and i want i just want to apologize on all of their behalfs because we're really sinners just being saved by grace and it's not due to anything that we've done at all um you've heard this a thousand times but what i really mean is that christians could be quite bad as well you know like it's nothing to be proud of um <laughs> thanks for the anti-plug you know like 
So I just wanted to tell you that, like, I'm sorry if if the church has ever hurt you. Yeah, the church has hurt me a lot, honestly. Yeah, there was a large, ch large chunk of time when I just stopped going to church because, you know, even today, I believe that some churches and some cell groups and stuff like that are only there for people who have time. But for people like me who's an entrepreneur, why I want to start this YouTube channel is because I really feel like not enough on beginning entrepreneurs or in the middle entrepreneurs are actually sharing our life and identifying ourselves as Christian, you know? And, and, and therefore, once again, we leave this area to, um, to the non-Christians and then all sorts of paganism gets into it. And, and, and we wonder why, you know, like, guys, it's not that hard to figure it out. Um, really. <sighs> so, overcoming loneliness. I don't have my parents' support. My church's people are all middle class and they don't understand. There are some people that start their own small businesses, but um, it's kind of like a popularity contest there. And... I find that if I try to do a lot for God, it's seen as overly passionate about your religion, which is really weird because I thought that we're supposed to live all our lives for God. Um, anyway, you know, I could be mistaken about their point of view, but I'm not mistaken about my identity though, hey. So, like... That's why I'm starting this YouTube channel and, identi and identifying myself um, straight out, um, obviously, as a Christian. Like, obviously, no, I mean, like, just at the get-go, not trying to hide the fact that I'm Christian. Yeah. So, um, how I found more friends. So, like, honestly... One thing that Mark from auto pass, Autopilot Passive Income said, and, and I'll put a link in the description to his channel if you want to check him out. He's currently my print-on-demand <coughs> tutor and buddy. <laughs> um, I'm really grateful to him. Because of him, I got my first Redbubble sale by doing his courses. So um, I don't have a course to offer you. I would say if you want to get good at print on demand there's heaps of resources out there but definitely check mark out and his paid courses like if you have the context of his paid courses then listening to him talking every day about print on demand on youtube in, on his normal videos would make so much more sense um yeah so i highly recommend that i'll le le leave a link in description um he didn't ask me to do this but i'm just gonna do it anyway because you know it's good for us to support each other um and so how and, and you know this is an example actually uh i didn't mean it to be so cliche but um this is an example of people finding friends and supporting each other i find that um I had to change friends many times in my life. Um, when I was young, growing up in, in moving countries, but now also as I'm moving to different stages in my life, I had to change friends many times and not deliberately, by the way, I really like to try and stay in contact with other people. And most of the time it's like other people who don't have time for me and not me who don't have time for other people because I really try my hardest. To keep in contact with everyone but you know as an entrepreneur the time that we have is limited and the time that i'm awake is usually when everyone is asleep um yeah i don't know how to how else to, to say this cutely <laughs> i cannot um even if i am filming for the chili verity show um, which is my reaction channel my main channel if you want to um, check me out there Link is in the description below. And if you want to check out also the merch that I'm doing using all these designs and stuff like that, you're more than welcome to. Uh, I think there's a link in the Chili Variety channel for that. I'm not sure if I'm going to put it here. Um, if you don't see in the description, that means that I decided not to. But 
if you want to, you can go there <laughs> and find me. Um, or I am everywhere. You can check me out on Instagram, actually, Rarity. Um, there will be a link there to all my episodes and stuff, as well as my merch store. So if you want to see this, you're more than welcome to. Yeah. Uh, so basically, I'm saying, as, as an entrepreneur, learn to be resourceful. Yeah. And, and that's kind of like what I want to impart to you as well. The more resourceful you are, the more capable you are, and, and the more you realize you can do. Um, just like Grand Cardone said, and he, he really impacted my life, Uncle G. Um, the more you, the more I do, the more I can do. That's the quote from him directly in one of his, one of his books or something. But he always says that. Um, yeah. So I ended up doing a lot of courses, and through these courses, including um, I did Dan Lok's high ticket closer course, um, and I did Grand Cardone. I did Cardone U. I did. Um, Dipna Bohout's real estate courses, I did Mark Rolton's real estate courses, I did so many other courses. I did Kevin David's course, um, I think, and I did so many other courses, um, and, and quite a few more sales courses, including the bank code. And through these, I actually find friends. Because what is important is not just that you have friends, but you have friends that are supporting you in the same part of your journey. And um, for me, the only way to, to do that is by going to where those people are. You know, that's what um, yeah, Desmond Ong taught me that, you know, you got to find where those people are. And those people are not watching Netflix, those people. Well, they might be, but you won't be able to meet them in the Netflix group or anything like that. Um, but those people are attending seminars, you know. So if you go go to somewhere where people are improving ourselves, you're gonna find like-minded people who are improving ourselves. Um, yeah, and and I just want to say that once you start being someone who looks into improving yourself, you can never turn back. A lot of people don't understand where you are going because they themselves have been stagnant and they no longer grow. They no longer grow, so they're really intimidated when you say you're growing. Um, yeah, and then yeah, and so yeah, that's that's really the the crux of it. I, I try to find other ways to make it sound more sugary coating. But, you know, I'm not, like, I can leave that for my Chili Rarity channel. I, I can sugarcoat on that one. But I don't want to do that here. Because this is an entrepreneurship channel. And I'm going to show you the, the real grind that's going on. I mean, like, how long have we been editing these photos now? And you can see, right now, it's just one after another, after another, after another. That's all looking the same. And it's the same actions a million times. And, you know, that's just life. That's just reality. And there's nothing sugarcoat about this, except for the fact that it's actually really pretty. So I'm actually enjoying this while I'm talking to you here. Um, but go to the courses and find people. And the other thing, being a YouTuber, is like the fact that I'm a YouTuber on my main channel um and seeing how comments roll in how the likes come in and stuff like that that has helped me understand more about youtube being a community and so now on um autopilot passive incomes channel i'm really quite active you want if you want you can follow me there um and his his channel's content is gem like tip top gem so i would give him a shout out again mark Thanks for making a difference in my life. And and being the one who's there, like, seeing me through my first sale on Redbubble. Which is this shop. Well, actually not this shop. It's a different one. But, yeah. Guys, I do have multiple Redbubble stores. But, obviously, for privacy reasons, um, the Rarity Kingdom one is the public one that I'm going to, you know, talk about. 
and and do stuff in and i plan to grow that store as well a lot so hopefully you'll be able to learn heaps just watching what i do there um and the other thing is like i do have a few people that used to be my bosses and now they're like my good friends and these people have really worked with me closely and they see my work ethic at that time you know when i was in my nine to five with them because i've changed jobs since um i never told them that i was working on youtube until you know the relationship builds up and i realize that it's gonna be okay because you know some bosses is not okay they feel like you're taking away your attention from a nine to five and if your performance is bad they might blame it on your the fact that you're doing a side income but they don't realize that they also have family members that they have to take care of and and all of that kind of stuff going on in their own lives that you know they are also not there permanently full time and and no one is at our best in terms of um in terms of our attention right most of the time but for me i'm just like i'm just cautious i well, actually not really just cautious i think that's just me i am cautious um having come out of a scam but um and that was painful like a relationship scam which i covered in the last video if so if you want to look at that yeah, go to the one that talks about me growing YouTube from zero to a thousand um, subs. And I would say that's the driving force behind me really pushing in in my Chili Verily channel to, to reach a thousand. Just because, yeah, that was the, the impact that that scam had on me. And being a YouTuber has allowed me to realize how comments roll in and how people can and do participate in youtube channels as if it is a community and i guess that's the reason why i started this channel i hope that this channel by me being this raw and just updating like that um it's more of a it's less of a hype kind of entertainment channel like my chili rarely one it's more like a heart to heart so hopefully people will be able to relate a bit more and and i definitely find that i'm more free to just talk about anything i want because now the content is me you know like the the content is not um, nct or sb19 or treasure or blackpink or something where i have to spend a lot of time to learn the industry and understand what the fans love and kind of try and stick to that um but here I just get to be me and you get the best of me <laughs> um, yeah and YouTube has definitely become like and in fact most most platforms in social media can become a source of friendship for you um, so I would say if you don't have anyone local try and look online but obviously don't fall into a scam though you know like don't trust anybody online with your money i would just say that blanket rule blanket rule don't don't make any exception to that and and only um manage your money yourself never give it to a, a investment platform that you heard online from anybody on social media even if they are your best friends because you don't know them physically and you can't go to their house and see how they take care of their house um you really don't know them okay so i would just want to say unless and, and even people that you meet physically can still cheat you i met so many people including a, a previous colleague that um yeah that they got scammed in business by trusting just their partners and people when things get desperate people turn greedy or you know even the best people turn greedy you know um yeah so and then 
what else can you do? Like, so just find people around. But I would say start a YouTube channel. I, I know that's a really interesting kind of uh, angle to go about it. But starting a YouTube channel really made me have to go outside of myself. You know, it's not that the YouTube channel is a success. And it is. God, God bless it, you know. Um, but it's more so that studying a YouTube channel has allowed me to realize more about people and social and, and, and all this sort of stuff. Um, and that's a good thing. And that's a good thing. And I realized that for all the scammers that are out there, but there are still a lot of nice people. You know, as long as conf like there's no conflict of interest. People can be quite nice. And I think you just have to be used to making new friends and always being open and always being the proactive one. You know, some people, they don't really keep up with their current friends and they wonder why they have no friends because they never call their friend, they never text them and stuff like that. Um, yeah, but then I also say on another note that eagles fly alone and eagles fly high. So I'm taking a drink here. I'm having a little bit of a sore throat because I've been talking for a while. It tells you how much I don't usually talk. The introvert that I am. Um, yeah. And I would say starting a YouTube channel will allow you to learn to find what other people are interested in and where to find them. And I hope that when you're looking down that path, that you're actually looking at a niche that you are interested in. And therefore, where you find those people is where you'll find yourself and your friends that are interested in the same thing as you. Yeah. So I would say nowadays, it, the one thing I learned from YouTube um in my in my main channel is that Gen Z can't really tell the difference between a YouTuber and a normal person, like an online personality versus a offline person. I, I made that distinction quite clear: the personality versus the person. Um, and I really like for them as a YouTube reactor. If I haven't reacted to the most recent video, they would come to me and, and say, Hey, Shirley, have you actually watched this at all? Because they feel like if you have watched it and you are a YouTube reactor by job description, by, or personality, or what they associate you with, you know, um, then if you have watched it by now, you would have reacted to it. That's the way that they see it. They don't understand that there's a production proce process, but they just kind of see it as if you're their best friend on TV, <laughs> which is really cute. I really love those those friends of mine. And some of them are only like 16 years old. Some of them are only 13, you know, like they're very cute. Um, yeah, I love them. So, um, yeah. If, like, right nowadays I find, like, a YouTube channel is your basic resume. You used to have a business card. You used to have LinkedIn. You used to have, uh, you know, all that kind of stuff. That of, like, a billboard for your store, whatever. Um, you know. And nowadays I feel like your YouTube is your resume. Um, yeah. And, and nowadays, if I go somewhere and I show them my YouTube channel, they're like, oh, yeah, you're a real person kind of thing. You know, I had one, um, once I went to a housewarming party and um, some of my friends will know who I'm talking about here without re revealing any names. Um, the funny thing is that um, I was just there and to have lunch, really, to celebrate housewarming. And the kid came to me and go, Oh, you are on YouTube? And because he loves Ryan Trahan's, you know, Ryan's toy reviews and stuff like that. He's only young. Um, and he said, um, I don't believe you. 
and then and he's like, I want to see you on YouTube, like it's like like this note of disbelief, and I'm like, I I I am a YouTuber, I have a thousand subscribers, you know, like more than that now, and counting, you know, increasing, and 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 so I had to go and go on my friend's TV smart tv and try to navigate to youtube and find my channel there and because you know obviously my name doesn't even search up um come up in search results if you type in chili verily right and and so when he saw me on youtube he said and then he saw a few videos that i did he then started to cry and and tell his mom that he wants to be a youtuber like when I was young, everyone wanted to be a doctor and lawyer, and now I feel like the popular one is like I want to be a YouTuber and, and and become a millionaire doing dance videos, you know that kind of stuff, or like toy reviews and stuff. And you know, for everyone who wants to do that, like I would say, try it. You know, you never know because you could be a natural in your personality, and people would just love you, right? And <laughs> and so I definitely think that. Um, never live a life without regret yeah and 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 a lot of times we are lonely because we don't have any goals or aims in our life and if you spend the time to um fill your life with so much activity that you don't have time to feel lonely you will feel lonely a lot less often Definitely. It's like sometimes I feel emotionally drained because all of these online things, you know, and the hustle life does take a lot out of you, not only physically, but emotionally, spiritually, mentally, everything, you know, and definitely when I'm sleeping, you know, four to six hours only per night and, and I know I need eight minimum to function properly, you know, it's hard. It's very hard. You know, when I'm, when I'm sleeping at 6 a.m. and in the morning not having slept all night and knowing that I have to wake up at 8.30 for my normal job, 9 to 5. It's hard, okay? But we, we press on. But if you fill your plate with so much activity, like for me, when I'm editing one thing, I'm editing it like how many times in here? Like 60 times. Um, it makes a difference. And you realize, like you tell yourself, oh man, I'm I'm too busy to be lonely, even though I feel emotionally drained. I really could use a hug here and there, you know. Um, and then the other thing I want to talk about is my biggest supporter. My biggest supporter is none other than God Himself. This is a testimony, and that's the reason why, like. You know, this little blurb at the back here, his love endures forever. I know I'm using it just to set this, the size of this, um, like, print-on-demand design and stuff like that. But really, that was the first thing that came to my mind when I had to type something in just to see if everything fits. And that's because God has always been here and he's here going through the deepest and the darkest of times with me. Um, yeah, basically. Uh, I basically have an ultimatum from my 9 to 5 at the moment that I would lose my job by 30 of June if I don't get the jab. You know what it is. And a lot of you who are looking at this sort of videos would be in that position as well. And I completely understand where you're standing from. But for me, after being through a scam, I could never see life as black and white again. Um, as, I mean... Not black and white. I mean, like, I could never see life in color fully again. Like, the sky is no longer blue. Like, for me, the sky looks... Like, for other people, this is the sky that they see. This one here. This one. It's this pretty pink and blue, you know. Life is so nice. But for me, it's more like, and do I even have one? That is that gray. I don't even think I did. Like, um, but my my life and the way I see 
is very very desaturated i'll say I'll, I'll put it in in design kind of way like yeah that, that's all i can say about it because oh gradient overlay <laughs> sorry yeah that's kind of like my life um but yeah you, you get the point because After going through the scam, I realized that all of the horror stories that we see in like movie, crime movies and the underground world and all of those things are real. And so for me at the moment, if I am, ever am feeling lonely, I'm like, I'd rather be lonely than be in a relationship with a scammer. I would rather be lonely than not insisting on my beliefs. Because when I didn't insist in my beliefs, I fell into a scam. And I would rather be lonely and with God than risk my salvation because in my darkest hour, he was there. He was the only one there. And he means too much to me now. To forsake him, call him a liar, Tell him that he's not good. Or tell him that I don't believe in the salvation that he institutes. I. He is the pearl of my all. And after and through the scam, I realized that everything that he says is true. During the scam, I wanted to die. I was living through horrible horribly dark times and had he not literally been there and in that really dark place that I can still see like it's a darkness that you can feel had he not been there I would have gone insane like literally in a mental institute right now because I would have lost my mind because I went through such excruciating pain when I realized that he's gone my the love of my life is gone like in in terms of humans obviously not God the love of my life is gone and he took all the money with him and left me destitute with nothing all alone by myself in this dark place and he wanted even more worse for me because he actually wanted me to be in debt with the banks and and, but then I at least held on to that uh, mindset that I'm never going to have any debt. So I didn't end up in that situation. But he would have if I had been even more vulnerable than I had been. And so a lot of times I would say loneliness is a burden that you have to bear. And all successful people will know what loneliness feels like. Don't be don't be um cheated by their Instagram feed like they are having a lot of followers and activity because when the hype is over and everyone goes back to their homes and gets back to their inner self you will really look around and go, how many of these people that you hyped with can be with you in adversity and disaster? When I was going through the worst part of my scam, not a friend would lend me a cent. You know? And, and I'm like, oh, what friends you are then? Oh, so, so I should have, in fact, like, I'm glad to God that during those times I asked you for money, because had I not asked, I would have never realized what a non-friend you were. And I realize now through the scam that you can test everyone's heart with money. Yeah. If, if you're saying that you're my good friend, then you should at least go into my red bubble shop and support me with a merch or two. Buy my goods. If you're my sister... If you're my mom and you say you love me and you don't have my merch in your house, what are you? Like just all talk, no action? What are you? 
if you say that you're my friend, you're my fan, and you love everything that I do, and yet you don't support me, then what do you love? It's just all for show for you. Like, talk is cheap, you know, show me some action. That's what I want to say. And at the end of the day, I think unless you have God right beside you and his love endures forever, praise the Lord. Yahweh is the only one who's dependable in your life. Yahweh is the only one who will be consistently beside you every single time. He was with me when I was at my worst point in my life through a scam. He was with me staying up all night when I had to fix a wedding cake for my mentor that he paid me to make. And the cake kind of fell apart because the, the weather was too hot. He was with me through everything and he is still with me right now when my manager is threatening to fire me if I don't get the vaccination. Well, all these people in my point of view are people who would just end up in destruction. They don't endure forever. And so if I meet obstacles and loneliness, all these things will pass. But hold on to the one who endures forever. And I will say, you're lonely because you haven't had success yet. Like I, I'm in this position, right? So I understand you. And you're lonely because you haven't had success yet. And because successful people will attract a lot of friends because their friends want their success, are jealous about their success, are actually competitors trying to decipher and trying to pretend to be a friend so that they can steal your success or they want to join your team, they really believe in what you do and um, only because you are successful. When you're a no success and you're a nobody, you're very lonely. But most people have to go through that to get to success. So what I say, whatever you're doing, 10x it and do a lot more. And die trying, I would say. Yeah. You will break through it. You will even break through your current loneliness in prayer with God. And this is my firm hope for you. God is real, man, guys. God is not just real. He's the only reality there is. And he's more real than the table that my computer is on at the moment. And he's more, more real than the YouTube that you're watching. You know. That's all I can say. Be real to the one who is real to you. Find groups of friends. Start a YouTube channel. Engage with people on social media. Don't come to tell me that you're lonely unless you are a thousand xing your connectivity and networking skills with other people. And sometimes in the deep of the night, you know, hustlers hustle alone. Entrepreneurs fight alone. Eagles fly alone. And yet, when we have God living in us, we are never alone. And that should be the firm strength that we Christians should have more than anything. Yeah. Anyway, that's all I wanted to share today. And I hope that that helped you. Um, yeah, consistency will really help you a lot when it comes to the entrepreneurship journey. And I hope that you can break through all of your obstacles and difficulties and once again it's really like this message here god's love endures forever hold on to the one who holds on to you 
Bless you.